A cross-section of politicians continue to react to the defection of former Vice President Atiku Abubakar from the All Progressive Congress APC. While some argue that Atiku had been a bona fide member of the People's Democratic Party, others described his resignation from the APC as an opportunity to return to the party. Sir Sebastian Bath Uzoana is a retired police officer and a Supreme Court attorney. He believes Atiku has a strong conviction to rule Nigeria and always seeking a platform to fulfill his political agenda. Uh, like many people have said, he's a political harlot. I think he, I think he has one ambition which he has been trying by all means to see whether he can uh, uh, accomplish, and that is uh, to be the president of this country. So if he goes to one political party, if he feels that his chances are not there to uh, for him to take a shot at the presidency, he goes to another political party. And I think that is just a, is a, personal, is a personal trait of uh, Atiku Obaka. He wants to achieve that ambition of taking a shot at the presidency. And uh, anywhere he feels he will have a better opportunity, he goes there. So that is for him. Uh, it does not mean anything to him. All he's doing is to fulfill his ambition. He described Atiku's defection as a common practice by Nigerian politicians who lack political ideology, undermining democracy. It appears that in Nigeria, honestly, I cannot see, as of now, I cannot see any political party in Nigeria having a clear-cut ideology. They are virtually the same thing. Look at the APC in power. Look at the former government in power, the PDP. They are virtually, virtually the same thing. There's nothing, there's no ideology actually, as far as I'm concerned. I cannot say for certain that this political party in Nigeria has an ideology. No, I can't see any ideology so far. For Barrister Bath, Nigerian democracy is far from maturity as politicians remain inconsistent. It shows that we are yet to be politically matured. We are still, uh, we are still, we are still growing in politics. Only God can predict uh, 2019. With what is happening so far, I cannot foresee any serious change uh, in terms of which party is likely. Because the two major parties in Nigeria are the PDP and the APC. And both parties are having crisis here and there. Meanwhile, the People's Democratic Party, PDP, has declared that there would be no automatic ticket for any aspirant or former vice president, Atiku Abubakar, if he finally joins the former ruling party. PDP says whoever is interested in contesting an elective office, including the former vice president, must be prepared to submit to constitutional provisions in the spirit of democracy.